Here's a happy question to start off your day. Are you a member of Club Failure? Now, before you wonder what Club Failure is, let me assure you it's not an exclusive club that anyone aspires to join. It's a club where Jesus patiently works with those who have faced major spiritual tests and, well, have failed. Yes, if you've ever found yourself in a moment of failure on your spiritual journey, you are not alone. Our focus today revolves around the iconic figure of Peter, the apostle who confidently declared his loyalty to Jesus but ended up denying him three times. Talk about a major failure. Peter in his arrogance couldn't believe it could happen to him. However, the reality struck hard and as the rooster crowed, Peter remembered the words of Jesus and he wept bitterly. But here's the beautiful part. Jesus doesn't give up on failures. He doesn't cast them aside. In fact, he intercedes for them. In a parallel account in Luke, Jesus acknowledges Satan's desire to sift Peter as wheat, but he declares, I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. Jesus, our eternal high priest, is constantly praying for members of club failure. So if you've faced failures, if you failed those spiritual tests, take heart. Jesus is in your corner, praying for your faith not to fail. It is an encouragement to return to ministry, knowing that you have a savior who intercedes and believes in your potential to strengthen others. Employment point, return to ministry, knowing that Jesus prays for club failure members. This February, let us continue our devotions daily so that we might grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord. I would be honored if you would like, comment, and subscribe. God bless you.